Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I kind of just wanted to do a like catch up, kind of like where I'm at at the moment, um, just sit down kind of video about witchcraft again. Um, the last time I kind of did this was just me basically saying that I'm gonna start the journey and all that kind of stuff. And now it's been four months, four months since then. Um, and I just kind of wanted to sit down and have an, another little catch up and just let you know where I'm at. Um, and yeah, when I first sort of made that video of just being like, I'm a new witch and all that kind of jazz, like my head was so overwhelmed with everything that I wanted to learn and know. Um, it was also like just like a really overwhelmingly great feeling um, internally and just physically anyway, but um, just admitting that that was something that I wanted to do. Um, it was just really great. And I I had that beginner's like energy where you just want to like jump in, head start and just go and just get it done, and, like learn everything you possibly can and just consume it all. Um, I definitely had that and it was great. It definitely kickstarted it for me. Um, but I have found that in the last, like in the four months, Obviously, it's like everything's very, very overwhelming because there's so much that you want to learn and you kind of want to pick it all up at once. Um, but then you do find that you start to just kind of like hone in and like focus on certain things and then it just slowly progresses. So I was very aware that that was probably going to happen. And um, I'm yeah, and I'm really happy that that has happened and it is like a good journey. Like I'm still a newbie, like even though it's been four months, like that's like nothing basically. Four months is still just so, so new. Um, there's so many people in the community who have been doing it for like a decade, two decades, like so much time their entire life they've been like doing, like, you know, just practicing witchcraft and just like living this lifestyle. So I'm a baby basically and, um, and I'm really enjoying it still. And every day I'm still kind of like learning and there's some days where I do take a couple of steps back and haven't you know I won't pick up my tarot cards or so like I won't meditate or whatever it is and and I do feel it like I actually genuinely do feel it like when I do then come back to it I'm always just a bit more like oh like it feels a bit grounding again um so yeah I mean if you have been following my journey on my channel then you'll know that the main thing that I've been working on at the moment is tarot and um I, I have like all of the stuff that I've sort of gathered I guess or got over the past four months like the books that I've got and like the decks and stuff like that so I was just going to kind of show you like the kind of stuff that I've just picked up and stuff um so obviously I've been doing uh tarot so just learning tarot um I've been doing like free tarot readings to just improve on my skills and stuff on my Instagram and um I've been just yeah giving readings to like friends and family and stuff like that and just doing like well, trying to like do a card a day readings on my Instagram, like every day. Um, for the most part, I'm doing it every day, but there was obviously like, you know, one or two days where I've just woken up really late and I'm gonna be late to work. So I don't have time to pull a card and actually like, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I wanted to show you the decks that I've got. So this was the first deck that I bought. I bought it on Amazon. I didn't buy anywhere special. Um, this is the Shaman Caselli tarot deck. It had really good reviews for like newbies and like people wanting to learn tarot. Um, it literally comes in this cute little box. It comes with like a little book like this and then these are all the cards. And um, they are laminated and they have, I personally think they've got really, really nice imagery. It's kind of like traditional tarot kind of imagery, but a little bit moderned up. Is moderned up even a word? I don't think, I don't think that's a word, but yeah. <laughs> it comes with, yeah, like this little book which kind of just like goes into um, like a little introduction and it has like all of the cards. So it goes from the minor to the major and it just kind of tells you like the theme and like the symbolism. So it's, it's very easy for you to just like relate to each card and kind of just understand the meanings of them and um, be able to interpret them according to the question and stuff like that like I personally just found this deck to be really really good it's my favorite deck I still kind of use it all the time this is the one that I kind of go to gra and grab um in the back once you've gone past the major they have like sample readings and like different ways that you can do like 
yeah, just like different spreads you can have and stuff like that. Um, so this was the first deck that I ever bought. And um, yeah, I still use it. It's, it's, it is actually my favorite. At, like, it's just easy to use. I like that it's laminated because I find it easier to shuffle, find it easier to spread when I'm spreading them out on the table. I just personally find them easier to handle. Um, I am, again, I've only been doing this for four months. I've only been learning for four months. So it could be just because I'm a noob and yeah. I, I think this deck's really, really good if you're a, uh, a newbie and you want to start learning tarot. This deck's great. Um, then Kai bought me the um, Wild Unknown Tarot deck. Comes in this great little box that you can kind of oh, open up like so. And then I just keep the deck. And it comes like, it's really cute actually. It is really, really cute. And it has like a little book. Um, and it shows you like different spreads again and then just goes through each particular card and like what it means um, and stuff like that. And this deck, like the imagery of this deck is really, really cute. Like it's all kind of like this. Um, very, 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 very nice. I wouldn't recommend this if you're just starting to learn tarot personally, just because I actually do think that it's a very minimal design. So it's not very easy to pick up on like what each card means like with the first deck that I showed you it's it is very it, like it is quite easy to just understand the meaning and the symbolism because the image you can kind of like resonate with the image and you can kind of like connect the two together and stuff like that but the imagery of this tarot deck like in terms of simplicity I do really like and I do yeah, it is a beautiful deck. And this um, book actually did help me understand about the court cards as well, because obviously in this deck, it doesn't mention court cards at all. Um, and it doesn't even go into like reverse and stuff. This deck kind of speaks about court cards and about how like the, um, the page knight queen and king are court cards and how they symbolize people and stuff like that and how it can yeah it basically goes into that which is really really interesting and i didn't know beforehand um it also i think talks a little bit about reverse cards in here i feel like i remember reading it somewhere um court cards present past future yeah reverse cards yeah, so it basically just talks about like, just loads of different elements about reading tarot and stuff like that. So it, it is really interesting, but I would probably not recommend this for a first time tarot reader, just because the imagery is uh, minimal and it's kind of a bit harder to go off what the images are. I personally found, like I personally found it, even though I'd been learning um, tarot with my previous deck, I still found it really hard to like, connect the imagery and stuff like that. I just found it quite difficult. Um, this is the newest edition of my decks that I have purchased. And that's this one, the Rebecca Camper Work Your Light Oracle Cards. Um, I haven't actually used these that much, to be honest. Um, I have used them and I do like using them, but I haven't used them as much as I thought I would. Um, not sure if it's just because I haven't really had much time. Right, sorry, I, that's just cut off at a weird point. My mum's just come home and Portuguese people are very loud, so I just have to like shut the door. Um, so yeah, this is the most recent deck that I've bought. And again, they all come in really nice, beautiful boxes. Um, and the imagery in this is really, really nice. It is very much like all of these kinds of stuff. They're very, very, very cute um, and nice images. I feel like these ones are very like, I don't know, they're a bit more personal and um, a lot of the questions that I was getting or that I've ever received when I've given people readings are always either about love or like what to do about certain situations. Whereas I feel like these are great for like internal questions. So like if anyone was ever to ask me about like guidance from themselves or whatever it is, um, I would find that this deck would be perfect for that because it is great with like personal guidance in my opinion um <laughs> so yeah those are the three decks that i just currently have um this one is definitely like i would just recommend to anyone that wants to learn tarot because i just think that it, the imagery um 
is easier to understand with the symbolism and it's just easier to interpret and stuff like that. So personally, I just find that they are top dog. Um, I wanted to also just show you guys some of the books that I've got because yeah, I do have a couple of books and um, I just wanted to show you guys in case you guys wanted to look into some books and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, so the first like little one that I ever bought was just like this little one. And it's like the little book of the Zodiac. Um, Cause I, yeah, like my gateway into witchcraft, I guess you could, you could say was like astrology. Cause yeah, I do really like astrology. And once you like start reading into your birth chart and just like going deeper into it, like it really makes sense. And um, I genuinely believe like as above, so below and how that we're all linked and connected and all that kind of jazz. Like I genuinely believe that. So I bought this from Urban Outfitters. When I bought this, I think I bought this. Oh no, I didn't buy this at the same time. I also bought this from Urban Outfitters though, but, um, or did I buy them at the same time? I might have bought them at the same time, but yeah, they were just in Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters do actually do like quite a few cute sort of like little booksy things like that. Um, I've also got this one. I got this for my birthday from my brother and his girlfriend, Sagittarius. It's my sun sign. So... They did, yeah, they got me this one. I think this was from Anthropology, though, if I'm not mistaken. But it's very, very cute because it's all just like, how Sagittarius, like, handles money. It's just cute little, it's just a cute little book. But, yeah, these were, like, the first ones that I sort of, well, not this one, but these two were the first ones that I sort of got. Um, and, yeah, I remember, like, just reading this one pretty much just back to back little book of spells yeah see they've got quite a few like little cute cute things but um yeah I remember reading that one and then I picked up this one in I think I picked this one up in TK Maxx I just saw it on the thing and was like oh this is cute like I want to get this one um I haven't like read this book but I feel like these kinds of books you don't like you just don't really read that much like if that makes sense like I like to just like go to reference in this book if I hope that makes sense like when I see a new crystal if I get a crystal or whatever it is like I like to go in here and and see if it's in the book and reference it and just kind of just like read on it then like rather than like reading the book back to back I feel like that's what this kind of book is for and it's a very nice like hard back like great coffee table kind of book that you can just have there on display and people can just flick through because it's got really really nice imagery um just like that kind of stuff and it's all just like, yeah, see, there's not much like reading to it. So I feel like it's more of a reference book, but it's still really, really pretty to have. And it's, um, yeah, it, I have actually gone through it a few times when I've just had like new crystal or whatever it is. Um, so that is great. Um, I think the next one that I bought was this one, The Stars Within You which is just like a modern guide to astrology. And like, I've got pretty far into it. Um, I'm starting to go through the, what am I on? Sun in Capricorn is what I was going through, but I've actually felt like I've read all of that now. I was going into the moon phases, but um, yeah. What The reason that I like this book over this book, because this book's kind of just like, it's like the little book, like it literally says. So it's just like a little brief insider into this. Whereas this goes more into depth because this goes into like the houses and like what they represent and all that kind of stuff. And um, it is a really good read and it's not, it's like nice and easy as well. It's not like really long and like in depth and stuff. It's, it's just nice, easy. Like you can take the information and kind of remember it. Um, that's why I quite like, quite like that book. So if you are into astrology and you want to look into that, like I'd recommend this book for sure. Um, I bought this Christmas for myself as like a little self Christmas present, which is like Witch Body by um, Sabrina Scott. And I really do actually like it. I think the imagery is really, really nice. Like, and I just like the style of the book itself because it's all kind of just like, it's, it's almost like it's just her notes. Like that, yeah, it's, it's obviously just like a, her notebook and it just feels a bit more personal. Um, and I like how like any mistakes that she's made, like you can see that she's like crossed it out and stuff like that. I don't know. I just think it's a really, really cute book and the imagery is really nice and it's just a really nice story and I definitely recommend it. It's not, they're not like, it's not majorly expensive or anything like that. It's like, it's 
yeah, it's going to into the community as well because she's she does loads for the community and she's a great little. I follow her on Instagram and she's yeah, I just quite like her posts and the stuff that she kind of talks about. Um, and the book is really really good and kind of just reflects that as well. Um, it's just more about like being connected with your body and and it's all about like a lifestyle kind of thing, um, which is really really good. And then I bought this one which is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. Um, I haven't finished this one. I kind of got to like, yeah, I just found it a bit difficult with this because I'm in a bit of a weird place with like religion personally, because I mean, I was brought up as a Catholic and um, yeah, I just don't, I don't know how I feel about like gods and stuff like that i'm just i'm not sure if i'm there yet like i like the idea of deities and stuff but um i don't think that's i don't really think that's for me i think i like the idea of it more than actually believing in it um i just believe in the, the higher power of the universe full stop like that's just what i believe in so i kind of found it a struggle to just keep picking this up and reading it um i probably should come back to it because i just think it's a good thing to understand that kind of side of witchcraft and like wicker and stuff um, and the religious side of things. I think it is important to understand that. So I do have this, it's still gonna be on my reading list and I'll probably try and pick up on reading it. Oh my God, I've got all this. I've got fluff flying around. So if you do see fluff, it's because I've got a hot water bottle and it's a fluffy one. So um, yeah, if you see little fluff, fluff things, they're not orbs, they're fluff, literally. Um, so yeah, I do need to go back and try and finish reading this book for sure um just because i think it is important understanding that sort of side of, of witchcraft as well um but yeah got that one and then i got these two for christmas i got oh wow hold on ah, moon it's moonology and then the green witch I thought I would start reading this one over this one first, but I've just not been picking it up. So I think I'm actually gonna go into this one first because I'm currently like obsessing a bit about like nutrition and um, natural remedies and herbs and all this kind of stuff. That's kind of the thing that just keeps coming into my mind and I feel like that's kind of a sign that I should probably just like go down that path a little bit more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I get on with this because um, I just feel like that's gonna be my jam if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, I picked up that and then I also bought this, which has come recently and I haven't had a chance to actually like properly look into how I can use it because it has all of it's a journal basically. It's just like a daily journal, but it's um, a magic eye one. Magic of Eyes, sorry. Um, and they're so, 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 so pretty. Look at the, all the gold, like, oh, so pretty. But it's basically like an astrolo astrological journal. I think I said that right. Yeah, astrological planner. Um, the imagery in it's all great. It all basically, like, teaches you how to connect with, like, the moon cycles and um, how to manifest using the cycles and all that kind of stuff. Like, understanding what... Um, what signs the moon is in and how that will affect you and when to sort of plan certain events that you might want to do in your life all based around the moon and basically just connecting yourself again with the universe um through the moon basically so it's yeah it is really cool i need to just actually sit down and read how to actually use it <laughs> because yeah that's kind of yeah i i like it um so those are the kinds of things that i've picked up along the way i do have um some green candles that one of my besties bought me for my birthday um but i don't do any spell work or anything like that because i just think i'm not ready for that and um i just yeah i just i don't think i'm ready for that there's nothing in particular that i really want to like warp the universe's energy into to benefit me at the moment if that makes any sense like i just haven't really been doing any spell work or anything to use candles um the closest thing that i would say that i'd get to with spell work is probably just like cleansing my room and stuff with like smoke cleansing my room and 
just things like that. Like I don't actually have any, I haven't done any spell rituals or anything like that. So I still have them. And um, I think once I get more comfortable and stuff into it, then I'll probably look into that kind of stuff. But I just haven't felt the need to cast any spells. I've just been really kind of, I don't know, I've just been enjoying just the nat natural parts of it, of just getting into, you know, connecting with just natural energies and understanding my intuition and listening to my intuition and connecting with it uh, using tarot and just, um, yeah, just basically like the basics is what I'm focusing on at the moment is what I've been working on. Um, but yeah, I've also got, three crystals. Two of them are appetite crystals and one is a quartz crystal. Um, two of those were bought for me from my friend who also bought me those candles. One was gifted, well not gifted, it was like a freebie for these earrings. So Kai bought me these earrings for my birthday, they're like the Sagittarius stone um, and they gave me a free appetite stone with it which is really really sweet. Um, so I've just got those kind of on my on my uh, bookshelf. I don't really use crystals that much either. I just actually quite like them and like how they look in the room and just like the kind of vibe that I get from them, but I don't use them, use them. Um, because again, I've just been focusing on tarot mostly. So I've just, yeah, I've just been focusing on tarot and um, I've just been enjoying tarot and just learning about it and really actually understanding how to do it and how to give good readings and um, connect with people through it and stuff like that. And like the kind of, yeah, just taking one step at a time. Um, I think when I first made that first video, I was kind of talking about all of the different types of witches and things that I'd really want to look into, like um, the elemental witches of like fire witches and water witches and like Cosmo witches and uh, green witches and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but in reality, I'm, I just, yeah, I just love the community and I I'm really am liking the natural sort of lifestyle of just, you know, letting everything, what will be, will be. And just like, you know, as above, so below and just believing that it's just the natural like cycle of the universe. Like I've genuinely been really just adjusting my lifestyle to that now. Like I feel like it's something that I've believed in a while, but I've never actually like lived that lifestyle and actually allowed myself to. So um, yeah, it's an adjustment and I've, I have been really enjoying it. And I posted on my Instagram recently, like how this winter for me has been like the best winter that I've possibly had like in a very very long time I think since I can remember I've always struggled around winter time like I love autumn and autumn is probably one of my favorite seasons because especially like the beginning of autumn when it's like the end of summer and it's still kind of hot but it's not like ridiculously hot that you're sweating and melting it's like the perfect temperature and everything's starting to get a little bit crisp and stuff like that like I love autumn but winter for me is I think I've always just had a real struggle um, just because I'm like true Sagittarius I am ambitious but I'm very impatient and like I kind of expect things to just happen now and um, you know with winter I it's that whole thing of like New Year's where you like set new goals and it's like oh like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna like make myself better and all this ridiculousness that comes with New Year's just because we put a date that, oh, it's the beginning of a new fucking year. So we need to like set new goals again, like makes absolutely no sense. And um, connecting with the cycle of the universe and like the wheel of the year, for example, and just like really understanding that and like knowing that in the winter I shouldn't be working on new tasks and self-growth and doing all that kind of stuff. It's a time of recuperation, it's a time of rest, it's a time of like healing and and um, regaining your energy and or reserving your energy for the summer, or for the longer days, for the days when you're gonna need it. Um, me just doing that, like I've been working on myself and I've been doing things, but I haven't been really pushing myself to do it. If I can't be bothered one day, I'm just not, I'm not gonna do it. Like I should be resting and just like taking in that time and um, 
And now that I've done that and I'm doing that and that's the kind of way that I've led this sort of winter, honestly, it is the best winter that I've ever had. Um, I feel so much more stable. I feel a lot more secure, um, a lot more like understanding of myself and of my wants and needs. And um, yeah, it's, it's interesting that such a small thing like a different mindset like really does change a lot so it's just yeah it's it's basically just living what you like living what you you believe and what you talk about basically and um i'm constantly saying how we're connected to the universe and how like everything is everything is connected and everything affects everything and all this kind of stuff i constantly talk about that so then i'm just kind of like why do i think that i should be yeah like going to the gym five times a day when i never do that and like really exerting my body is that, even that right? is that a word i don't know but really pushing my body and like trying to start new habits and trying to put all these things into play during winter when like the whole world is dead like all of the flowers are dead everything's resting everything's just re really, like gaining its energy again ready for spring so it's kind of just like that's what i've just been doing i've kind of been like it's more so i've been spending my winter times just really focusing on my myself my intuition my my needs listening to my body listening to my mind understanding what i actually need rather than what i want um uh trying to be take a calmer approach to things uh, be more understanding uh connect again with my intuition and just like yeah really focus on just tarot and just like that sort of divination of just guidance through like intuition um and just yeah i've had a lot of time to just sit and think and it's almost like planting seeds and then in spring is where they'll start to blossom and those little ideas and stuff that i want to work on and things is that's when i'll sort of do it um so yeah, that's kind of just like where I'm at at the moment with my witchcraft journey and it's like, yeah, it's good. It's a whole lifetime of lifetime. It's a whole lifestyle adjustment though. So um, once you like fully accept that that's, that is your belief and that's what you're going through, like and going down, like it's not like, it's not a race. I don't need to learn everything and know everything straight away. Um, I just like to take, oh yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying taking one thing at a time and at the moment that's tarot. I do feel comfortable with tarot. I am in a place where I feel comfortable with it. Um, I don't really need to look at the little book like guide to help, to help me with the meanings of the cards and stuff as much. Like there might be one or two, but the majority of the time when I pick a card, I'll know what it's, I know, I'll know the meaning and I, and I've sort of started to pick up my own way of how I like to do readings and stuff like that, which is really, really nice. Cause I remember when I first started learning, that's kind of like, I remember thinking in my head, like, oh, I can't wait till I'm like comfortable and I can know what I'm doing with this. And like, I can't wait to like pick up my own style with it and stuff like that. So it's nice that I'm like starting to feel like I'm at that point at the moment, like still fresh. And there's still some things like every now and then, like I'll try a different sort of spread or like I'll try a different way of, reading it or interpreting it for someone or like a different way of like how to actually explain it to that person but um I am starting to feel like I'm getting my sort of style in it and um my little place in that sort of aspect I do feel like it's starting to come together not fully there but it is starting to come together which feels really good um which is also why I feel like I can start to sort of look into something else now and maybe start learning something else um which is yeah why i was thinking maybe going into like moonology or like the moon cycles and stuff like that but i just can't i don't know it's just i've just not been really like it hasn't really like grip like gripped me and like made me really want to go into it um i just thought it would probably make logical sense to do go into like learning about the moon cycles because I quite I know quite a bit already about astrology and like tarot can link really well with the moon cycles and stuff like that but um I actually think that I'm gravitating more towards like learning more into like the green witchcraft with like um herbology and 
and all that sort of stuff like essential oils and stuff because um yeah i'm just it's just something that i feel like i'm just gravitating more towards so even if it doesn't make sense in my journey so far i'm just going to do what i'm gravitating towards even if i'm if i just yeah if i'm not reading the pages from one to ten i'm reading it from like one five nine seven doesn't matter um it literally doesn't matter everyone's journey is personal which is again another reason that i'm just love the community of the, like the witchcraft community because everyone's just so loving and so nice and no one's kind of just like oh you're doing it wrong or whatever because it's all just really personal and um and that's why it's great so yeah that's basically where i'm at four months in um it feels good i'm not an expert but i'm starting to you know pick things up here and there and um got a couple of things around me that I've picked up on the way and stuff like that and um yeah I think I'm excited for the next step um learning about like herbs and all of that kind of stuff I think that's definitely the the way that I'm going to go at the moment for sure so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video um and that you liked I don't know it's been a while since I've just sat down and just catched up with you about this particular subject so um I hope that those of you that watched the first video or watching this one and that you're still with me on this journey um i'd really love uh if you could just yeah leave a comment let me know how you're getting on as well uh because yeah there are a couple of people that commented on the first video um and i'd love to know how you guys are getting on and what you're like into at the moment or what you're like really struggling with or whatever it is like i'd just love to know and see how you guys are getting on too um, so yeah, make sure you leave a comment down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel because it really, really helps me out. Um, I do know that a lot of people that view my channel aren't subscribed. So just hit the subscribe button, guys, and you will uh, get notified from all of my videos when I upload. So yeah, I'll see you next week with another one. Thanks and bye.